Hi, my name is Ariana and I am with Precious Gem Miniature American Shepherds. Today I will be showing you how to taco tape ears. This is one method among many to help train ear cartilage and uh, to hopefully obtain a button ear. This is Kindle. She is our guinea pig today. All right, let's get started. So what are different ear sets in the breed? In both Miniature American Shepherds and Australian Shepherds, there are preferred ear sets. The first one and the most preferred and classic look of the breeds is called button ear. This is where the front of the ear comes forward like that, okay? The other is called rose ear and it's where the ear leather folds to the outside. Okay, that's rose ear. It is acceptable, but usually not as preferred if you're talking about confirmation or you just want the classic Aussie look, okay? So there are many different methods to being able to train the cartilage and sometimes you have to be consistent. Sometimes massaging helps. Some of those methods include the taco taping that I'll show you today. Some people use chin strap taping underneath. Some people use moleskin. Some people add weight. And I have used various methods and I kind of change it up depending on the ear set of the puppy or um, the weight of the ear, the size of the ear. So it's not always one fits all, but people have different preferences so you can see if this is what you like. But, so the first thing that you'll want to do for taco taping is you'll want to trim up their ears. If there's a lot of fluff, then sometimes the tape won't stick very well because it'll just stick to the fluff of the ear. So it might help just to kind of trim up any excess fluff. And I've trimmed her hair recently, so there's not a whole lot that I want to take off but on the top here, and then you can even go underneath. And if they have a lot of hair underneath, that will help the tape stick better. She doesn't have a lot underneath, so there's not too much to do here as far as helping the tape goes. Okay. You don't have to do this, but it does help the tape last longer, especially if you're not comfortable with trimming or don't have thinning shears, because that's what I use. After you trim the ear hair, you can grab your tape. I just use medical tape, okay? I find that the stickier it is, the longer it tends to last. And I want a piece big enough to go around once, but also around again. So I kind of give myself a little bit longer of a piece. You can grab two of them and just stick them wherever you're at so you have them ready. She wants to eat the tape. <laughs> Right. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a little bit better so you can see what I'm doing. Now you get to fold the ear. What you'll do is you will fold it in half down the middle with the underside of the ear being on the outside, if that makes sense. So now the top of the ear is going to be on the inside. Okay, there's your taco. Okay, does that make sense? And then, if you notice, it will depend on where we put our tape. If we put our tape down here, it might cause a fold, but sometimes it's a little wiggly and it might not be as consistent. If we put it up a little bit higher, it helps to kind of keep that fold up here because we want the crease to be up here, right? So I tend to put the tape up a little bit higher to help that fold. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my piece of tape I'm just kind of sliding my fingers up and where they stop, I'll usually put my tape around that area. And it takes some time. It's not super easy. You can kind of brush the hair away. It's not super easy if you're doing it for the first time. It takes some practice and it doesn't matter to me anyways if you start from the inside or the outside with the tape, it just is whatever is most comfortable for you. You do want it to be snug um, you don't want to go too tight, but you don't want it to be super loose either because then it will probably slide off. I just kind of pat it down and try and pull out extra hair so it doesn't bug them as much. Okay, just kind of patting it down, trying to help it stick a little bit. Now when you're done, you want this little teardrop to be facing toward you. Okay, this little teardrop right here facing front not facing to the side. Sometimes if we tape and it goes like that, that might not help, or at least in my experience. 
Okay, so now I'll swing around and do it to the other side. I'm definitely better at one side than another side, so try not to judge me. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fold this ear again. I'm trying to brush the hair back up again. Taco taping, sliding my fingers up to see where it stops. And then my tape will go just under that. And I'm, whoop, I know Kendall, good girl. I'm actually going under this one, so I don't tape them the same. This is just what feels easiest to me. I know, good girl. Kendall, come back. Yes, good girl. She's like, oh, again. <laughs> it doesn't hurt. It just feels funny. I may have put that on too loose, so we'll see what happens. I'm trying to press it down. Good girl. Pressing it down here, seeing how long it will last for, but this tape is pretty sticky that I have. Okay, so now if I get her attention, we'll see if they come to the front. You can always, you know, try again and retape them. Oh, I know. So now we have Miss Kindle here. She's got her ears taped, and they seem to be holding. She shook her head and they still stay. Sometimes when they shake their head, the ear will move or the tape you know, was sticking to the hair and, and they don't set the way you wanted them to. So that actually is a pretty good indicator that they might stay where I want them to. And I will try and leave them on as long as I can and give them a break in between. Massaging the top of the ear helps as well. But she did pretty good. Still got some fluffies, huh? If you have any questions, feel free to message me or email me and I'd be happy to help. Thanks, bye.